Greetings YouTube! Today we have another Barden bargain video. We start out with Endangered Species and Other Fables with a Twist, which is a book I purchased for my wife uh, because she loves children's books, and this has some awesome woodcut style art. Um, we have The American Way 10th Anniversary Edition, which is a comic from Vertigo. We have a book called Chew, which is, I get the third volume, but I just picked it up cheap. Apparently it's someone, that, a detective that can learn things by chewing them. That should be intriguing. And here we have a cat. We have uh, perhaps a not, knots. Um, this is the triangle storyline, I guess. We have Tor, a prehistoric odyssey. And I vaguely remember Tor from my childhood. We have a New Mutants book. I haven't read any New Mutants in ages. We have Joseph Campbell's The Power of Myth, which I will be giving that away to somebody. I purchased it specifically as a gift. Yep, you're knocking my stuff on the floor, cat. Thanks. Uh, we have Mandela's of the World. And we have a book called The Ordinary, which is a book working here with a cat. Um, or a world where everyone's a superhero except for the guy right there in the center. He's the only person in the entire world that has no power, which sort of makes him extraordinary. The Adventures of Buffalo and Tough Cookie, which is a story about a father and daughter that do a lot of hiking together. Um, the Girl Mechanic, classic crafts, games, and toys to build. That's for my wife. Um, the Lost Pet Chronicles, actual pet detective, a real one. Then we have Tacos, or Tacos, a Correspondence School of Wizardry, Cantrips, and Other Magics, which came out of the blue to me, so I'm thinking it's a gift from my friend Jan, but I'm not positive. I have to contact him and find out if it is, but it's a gift from somebody because I didn't buy it, um, and it's this interactive fantasy uh package so we'll see what have to, how that works out i haven't i haven't delved into it yet i will um but yes yeah, so this has been the book section which my cat has decided to, to help me with i may have to make her disappear for the dvd and blu-ray section because i really can't have her knocking those on the floor so yes cat you've been ever so helpful now we're on to dvds and movies and tv um, we have Torchwood on Blu-ray. It's the first season. I picked that up for seven bucks. Brand new, still sealed. Somebody apparently didn't like it. It goes for like 40 bucks or 45 bucks new, normally, I guess. I got it for seven. I've watched the first four episodes. It's not bad. It, it looks like British science fiction. Um, I'll probably finish it. Don't know if I'll go any further. Uh, Drill Bit Taylor, the extended survival edition. I picked that up for a buck. Uh, Mona Re Lisa Smiles, which is kind of cute it takes place on wesley wellesley college and i guess apparently it bears almost no resemblance whatsoever to the actual west wellesley college which in 1954 when the film was set which was a far more liberal progressive place than as it is portrayed in this film um but it was cute i'll i'll probably not even going to keep this one um Free Fire, which is a, an action-style comedy. I've heard good things about it. Dark comedy. So I'll watch that eventually. Probably not with my wife. Anonymous Rex, which is an amazing piece of cinema that somehow pulled in Isaac Hayes, Faye Dunaway, and an actual goddamn Baldwin. Just amazing piece of science fiction that just was supposed to be a TV series and didn't make it. You gotta see this to believe it, folks. Early Man, which was quite cute. Uh, Robocop 3, which I don't think I've seen since it was originally released. I saw it in the theaters. Dazed and Confused, which I've never seen. She Creature, which I think I've seen, but I'm not positive. Um, 300, Rise of the Empire, which I've never seen. I saw 300. Uh, Cosmopolis, um, Polis, 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 I guess. Uh, which I really bought just because it has a um, David Cronenberg commentary track. Dracula Untold. I've never seen it. I heard it's a great vampire superhero movie. Um, Mystery Alaska, which is a hockey movie, which I have a fondness for sports films. Mega Snake, which I'm I'm not going to give keep this one. I'm going to pass that on to a fellow nerd. And this is a piece of work. This is astounding. Um, if you ever get a chance to see it, do so. Um, 
Roswell, Conspiracies, Aliens, Myths, and Legends, an animated series. I don't know if I've ever heard of it before, but it's got a, got a Yeti with horns, which I thought was cool. The House That Dripped Blood, which is just wonderful 70s era horror in the Hammer style of films. And interestingly, there's actually no blood whatsoever in this film. Uh, the last of the Hunger Games films. My wife and I now have all four of them. We should probably watch them. Um, what's this one? Sky Surfer Strike Force, which looks just cheesy as all get out. The High and the Mighty with John Wayne, which I purchased for the commentary track. Um, two episodes of Bullshit, number one and number three, because oddly I have number two. But I didn't have one in three, and I found all three of them, so I bought one in three. So now, so, so now someone else out there has a, a volume two and doesn't have anything else. Uh, the fourth, uh, the fourth season of Star Trek Enterprise. I should probably start watching that. I got them all on Blu-ray, and I thought I panicked when I got this because that's a British seal, but it works. I played it, so it does actually function. But I should probably get around to watching that series. Uh, Wyatt Earp with Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid, and Gene Hackman. I like a good western. It is a commentary track on that one. Um, Peach Dragon, the original, uh, the original version. My wife has a deep fondness for that. And I have two other things here that are diddled, which just didn't fit on the table. We have Paprika, which I've never seen, but I picked up really cheap for like a dollar. Um, so I thought I'd give that a, 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 a doing. And Nina Simone's The Blues, which my wife wanted, and we now have in our collection. Where did we get that? It was eight bucks. I don't remember where we got that. Yeah. So, but she wanted it. Now we own it. Um, maybe in a thrift shop or someplace. And I think we've already ripped it. Put it into our our, our bread and B2. Okay, this has been the digital section. Now we're going to go on to more ephemeral things. And the reason the cat's not right here, I locked her in the bathroom. We'll start out with a 20-pound kettlebell which I picked up at a buy the bound pound place for $10 because it's 50 cents a pound for metal. I can't figure out why they did not have this in a proper, in the proper thrift shop section, because let's face it, these things are normally twice, if not three times that much money. So if they'd sold it for 10 or 15 bucks, people would have bought it. But I bought it because my, I think my wife will get a use out of it and I may as well. Um, I have used these type, uh, you have used weights before. It has been a while. I may get back into it. We have this weird device, which is what you put on a corner of a building and you pass a hose through it so it doesn't get kinked. My wife actually uses a hose in the garden, so I thought maybe that would be useful to her. It was two bucks. I thought it was a gamble it was worth taking for two dollars. We have two croquet balls, which are solid wood, and I'll probably use those in some sort of weapons build. They were cheap. Um, we have some reflective tape. We have this knife, which needs a lot of love, but I like this style. It's classic, kind of a uh, old school style knife. So I figure I'd polish it up and give it a sh sharpen and see how it works. It's just for kitchen use, so maybe I can, maybe I'll like it. Who knows? Um, we have an axe, which I picked up for five bucks at Goodwill, which was a nice. It's a nice shape, not not like new, but not bad either. And it looks like the and the, the pro edge profile looks like it looks like it can be brought back to life. Interesting, they put tape on it. Like tape was going to make this less dangerous. I don't I don't get it. We have this, which is a uh, flambeau tactical style ammo box, and I like to use these for storing knives. I have a number of them. Um, I have a number of them already full of knives. We have a Rayovac swivel light, which I think I can convert to LED, and I picked this up at a buy the pound place, but I, it had batteries in it, which I left there, because I paid for it by the pound, so I, once I knew it worked, I just took the flashlight. It was giant-ass hinge, which I picked up for a buck. We have a stream light, which I don't think I've ever owned a stream light. Where's the stream light logo? There you go, stream light, um, which is rechargeable. And I'm not a big fan of rechargeable lights, but I thought I would give it a try. I picked it up for 15 bucks at a yard sale or garage sale. Um, I had a lot of stuff in there, a lot of tools, uh, a lot of horse ephemera if you were into horses, but I'm not. Um, so I thought I'd give that a try, charge it up, put, the, put it, this in a wall someplace, and give it a try and see if I like it. I'm having it, having that readily available as a fully charged device could be handy. Um, 
we have a job smart flashlight i picked it for less than eight bucks less than nine bucks and i thought i'd give that a try and that end up in a review somewhere we have a couple of uh clamps here they're very thin they're very light duty but they're very thin and i paid very little for these 50 cents a pound so they were very cheap um but i thought that might be useful for if i have something that needs to be held together in a tight spot small tight spot so i thought that might be useful we have this really large bell which again i picked up for the buy in the buy the pound spot my wife actually likes to likes the wear on it okay you like the wear on here it's your bell you do what you want with it um but she collects bells and that's big goofy bells so i thought that was kind of cute we have this which is a paperweight from Britain, 1995, which makes this officially vintage, I'm old, and it's a dandelion, which I thought was very pretty, and they did a really nice job. This is almost a perfect, this is a perfect sphere, at least I can think it looks like a perfect sphere, except for the flat on the bottom, and it's just, just lovely. I paid a dollar for that at an estate sale. I felt bad because I couldn't find anything else the guy I wanted to buy. He was like, take stuff, please. Then we have this pot. This is the artist. I don't have any idea what that signature denotes. I don't even know which direction it goes in. But they're a professional. It's very well made. And this, this glazing and treatment on the outside is sheer and utter genius. This person is just a true artist. I, I saw this at a thrift shop. I paid $2 for it. I'm like, I don't know who got rid of this man, but... They are very foolish because this is just beautiful. I fell in love with this thing when I saw it, man. It is so pretty. This is right into my vibe. Um, so, I hope that you have enjoyed the latest... Oh, yeah, one more thing. The Ouija board. I bought the Ouija board to buy the pound place, too. I think I may make a tray out of it or something. Do some art projects. I don't need a Ouija board. But it's in nice shape. And I thought, hey, you know, I might be able to use it for something. Um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this latest bargain video with the weird and strange things that I have I have found. Um, and I hope that you will show up for the next one. And if you like my strange things I find, I put pictures on my Instagram of things that are even stranger that I don't buy because they're ugly or I have no use for them. Um, just they're weird and odd. And those go on my Instagram. So I'll put a note for that at the beginning of this video probably. Um, so go there and you can follow me on Instagram and see the weird stuff I find when I'm out thrifting at bargain places like flea markets and thrift shops, stuff like that. Thank you. Goodbye.